Hey, 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 I'm Al Cavadlo. Testosterone is the hormone that's most associated with masculinity. Muscle mass, strength, energy, motivation, all of these things are tied into testosterone. So of course men want to optimize it, especially as we get older and our levels start to naturally drop. So the idea that you could increase testosterone just by not eating probably sounds too good to be true. And well, it kind of is, but there's a bit more to it than that. Some studies have shown that short-term fasting, like skipping food for one day, can cause a temporary spike in luteinizing hormone, which signals the body to produce testosterone. There's also research showing that after 24 hours without food, men can experience a brief increase in circulating testosterone levels. But once you start eating again, levels tend to go right back to normal. But what about fasting for longer? This is where things start to get more complicated. By day two, your body is likely shifting into ketosis, which is burning fat for fuel instead of carbohydrates. Growth hormone levels tend to rise, which can support muscle maintenance and fat loss. But testosterone levels do not continue rising. In fact, some evidence suggests they might start to drop, especially if your body perceives fasting as stress. Because chronic stress, whether physical or psychological, is a known testosterone killer. So while a longer fast might help with fat burning, insulin sensitivity, and inflammation, it's probably not going to increase your testosterone. But what about even longer fasts, say three days or more? Well, I've personally never fasted for longer than about 36 hours, but research suggests that by that point, you are deep into fasted territory. Autophagy is ramping up, which is your body's cellular cleanup system. Your insulin levels are super low and inflammation is probably way down. Most people report feeling energized and more clear headed, but testosterone? Studies show that after about 48 hours of fasting, testosterone production starts to decline, not increase, because your body is likely conserving energy. So it's not exactly in reproduction mode. So it seems like 24 hours of fasting is the sweet spot, which if you're like me, makes you think, well, what if I do that regularly? Like eating just once a day with 23 or even 24 hours between meals. Those of you who followed me for a little while probably know already that that's called OMAD, one meal a day. And it's what I've personally done for years. I swear by it for staying lean, focused, and disciplined. But does doing this every day boost one's testosterone over time? I had my own testosterone measured recently, and I was happy to see that I'm in the upper end of the healthy range for men aged 18 to 39, and I'm almost 46. Which brings me to this video's sponsor, LabCorp On Demand. They make it super easy to check your testosterone levels and a bunch of other key health markers without having to schedule a doctor's appointment. All you do is purchase your test online, then go to a LabCorp location for a quick sample collection. Samples are taken using the same methods as your doctor's office, and you'll be notified by email when your results are ready. You can view your easy to read results online in your LabCorp patient account. Knowing that my testosterone levels are at the higher end of the healthy range gives me confidence that what I've been doing is working. And it also keeps me motivated to continue showing up and pushing myself. Go to trylco.com slash alcavadlo and use my code alcavadlo to get 20% off your test. Then make an appointment or walk into one of LabCorp's 
2,000 plus patient service centers for your sample collection. If you're serious about staying strong, optimizing your performance, and knowing your testosterone levels, head over to trylco.com slash alcavadlo and use my code alcavadlo to get 20% off your test today. And as for fasting and testosterone, here's what we know. Studies on long-term intermittent fasting, including OMAD, do not show consistent increases in testosterone. But fasting can help lower your body fat, improve insulin sensitivity, and optimize other hormones like growth hormone, all of which support your body's ability to make testosterone. So again, fasting might not directly raise your testosterone, but it creates the conditions that allow your testosterone to thrive. Just make sure you're eating enough quality food during your feeding window, especially protein and fat. And don't forget to work out. If you found this helpful, drop a hey, hey, hey in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe. As always, I'm Al Cavadlo, and we're working out.